Hello there. Welcome back. In the last video, we have finished the data and domain layers. In this video, we will work on the presentation layer. Let's start by creating a Swift file for view model class. In this file, we will have view model constant, the input protocol, and output protocol. A view model protocol which will inherit from observable object and both input and output protocols. At last, we have a view model class, which we will inherit from this protocol. Perfect. Let's create two extensions of this view model. One for input functions and another one is for output functions. We will add all the constants which we need in the task homepage constant struct. If we are passing anything to the view model from the view, we will write those functions inside the input protocol. And if we are expecting from view model to view, we will write those functions inside the output protocol. We can also write the enums inside the view model file. As you can see, we have one enum type for the slider direction. Let's move this into our view model file. Awesome. And delete the old one. These are the input function for input protocol. And don't worry about the error. We will fix it in a bit. And these are the output function. Let's add these functions to the view model class. Now, move input functions to input extension and output functions to output extension so that we can have an organized code. We need date and the task use case. Along with this, we have task array, week array, and selected date. Let's set the week array from the date use case like this. And here is our initializer. Change this to week model. Awesome. Whenever we set the selected date, we will call the calculate past and future weeks function. Let's set the selected date. Okay, here I have made a small mistake. Instead of deleting the slider enum file, I have deleted the date manager. Let's bring it back and delete the slider direction script. Insert the date manager, copy the update function and add it to on date scrolled function. Change this thing. We will call the respective functions from the use case for other three functions like this. Great. We are done with the input functions. Let's check out the output functions. Now, get selected date returns the selected date. And get current selected date tasks gets the tasks from the task use case like this. Awesome. We are done with the view model here. In the next video, we will work on the views. Until then, take care. Happy coding.